Alright, y'all remember the iPod, right? This one that I upgraded? Yeah, well, upgrade part two. Atomic Edition. Oh, that's it. One's the package. It's what is in this package that matters. If I can open it. Oh man, two new cry tools to replace this broken one. That's awesome. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, atomic face plate. It's gonna be a fun thing to put on. If I can get it open, that is. There we go. Look at that. That's a beauty, ain't it? And uh, I think this has a fan over it, but yeah, we'll deal with that later. Yeah, we got some other stuff too. We got the knife flash, the CF board, because I'm too poor to afford the SD card one. See that right there? The uh, thermal for whatever reason. And we got the eye flash board, we got an iPhone or CF to SD adapter. Not the eye flash one because that one's too expensive. Oh, there we go. Yep, there it is. And uh, for this, we're going to use uh, what I have over here. It's a SD card somewhere. That I'll get that later. But um, got some new pry tools which I didn't ask for. But that's oh, nice because this one's going out. New stuff, as you can see. And we're going to install this stuff today. Well, maybe tomorrow. But yeah, uh, yeah, we'll see you when uh, I'm ready to do this. All right, so now that I got everything cleaned up and ready to go, with the SD card for now and everything, so we're gonna go ahead and. Start to pry this open using my new pry tool. Actually, uh, I forget which side you start on, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, let's not break anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery. Okay, so I got the back plate off, I didn't break anything. So we're gonna go ahead and get this old hard drive out. There we go. No more hard drive. Goodbye, old 30 gb hard drive. You are no one needed. I'm gonna replace that with this. But first, to replace the front plate. And to do that, I need to disassemble this whole thing. Which requires screws. It's a good thing I have this. I fix it to a kit. There we go, look at that. No more of this. And we have the bear iPod. We're gonna put. Hey, get out there. Put this on here. Well, it's not really clicking like it's supposed to, but probably fine. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the part where I actually know what I'm doing, so uh, yeah. Okay, so I went ahead and just like kind of forced this in here, forced all the screws in here, because it obviously doesn't line up correctly for whatever reason. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get the drive in here. And uh, I don't know if I can do that on camera because it's kind of weird, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, say we put this in here and then that this is in here, we're gonna do some camera magic. Boom. Okay, so after some weirdness with the battery connector almost breaking it 500 times, uh, finally I have put it together and I'm gonna turn it on. And uh, yeah, connect to your computer. That's what you want to see when you do this because it's obviously a formatted SD card. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, this back together so we don't mess it up again. Uh, gosh, what are they? Okay, so three more mental breakdowns later, and I finally have this on, and I uh, hope I didn't break anything. Yep, same, same thing. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, connect this to the computer. Yeah, so uh, as I was saying, we go ahead and connect this to the computer, and uh, there we go. Do not disconnect. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up I iPod and recovery mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Store, store. And iPod drives are booting up now, so. And I don't know what it's doing now, but we have. Okay, so I'm just gonna let it charge for a bit because it said low battery for whatever reason, which I mean I was using it earlier, but yeah, we're just gonna wait for it for a little bit and then this thing, and if it says it again, then we have a major issue. It probably will say it in because literally everything I do breaks. Okay, so it's currently the next morning and after posting my issues on reddit I've figured out how to fix this so it is a very okay so got the second adapter and yeah let's start with some micro stick adapter and um well, yeah, now I don't have as much confidence in this as I did, but yeah, we'll see if this works. If it doesn't work, then the only other option is to literally just buy a, a compact flash card. There we go. And, uh, yeah, hopefully this is going to last. Yeah, I just put the SD card, the micro SD card, right in there, it should just work just fine. Time. And there you go, now the iPod is open. And yeah, let's just Okay, so I am back and the iPod is Fully working now. Got my music loaded onto it. Got my photos loaded onto it. 
I've got all my frames on to, loaded onto it and everything, and it's working perfectly. It's a lot lighter than the hard drive was, and it looks cool too. So, yep, yeah, it's the end of this video of upgrading an iPod gone wrong, as per usual. The couldn't do it without the Elite Obsolete Store. The obsolete Store. Elite Obsolete Store. Literally the best store in existence. Better give me a better store name than that, like honestly. Literally the best store in existence. You cannot prove me wrong. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You can go to the uh, see you in the next video. Uh, subscribe if you want, because this channel's probably gonna see more uh, more content somewhere. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Later.